This video will show you how to install the hammer jammer on your guitar. In the box, you will find the hammer jammer keyboard, a bridge, spacers, and other hardware. Notice that the hammer colors have changed. Players asked us to change from pink and purple to black and white, so we did. The black hammers are now hard, replacing the purple hammers. The white hammers are now soft, replacing the pink hammers. To mount the hammer jammer to the neck of the guitar, using the clamping method, put one self-stick strip of felt on each side of the bottom of the bridge. The spacers in your kit will either be rubber coated from the factory or will come with stick-on rubber strips. If the spacer edge is black, skip this step. If it is bare aluminum, put one self-stick strip of rubber on each spacer. Use the strips with only one side that has the self-stick. The double-sided self-stick strips are for another purpose, which I will explain later. Using the included screwdriver, put one set screw in each hole in the bridge, two or three turns. Don't go too far, just enough for the screw to stay in place. Put the fingerboard on the bridge by snapping it down over the top of the bridge. Place the hammer jammer over the base of the neck and line up the hammers so that they are as evenly spaced over the strings as possible. They may not line up perfectly, but I'll show you later how to tweak the alignment. Push the bridge down with one hand and turn the screws until the spacers tighten against the neck of the guitar. You may have to move around the screws like you would with changing the lugs on a tire so that you keep the alignment correct. Once the bridge is tightened against the sides of the neck, you should just about be able to pick the guitar up with the bridge. It should be fairly solid. Tweaking the hammers for each guitar is critical and must be done very carefully. The plastic used in the hammer jammer is designed to be flexible but not floppy, but that means you can break the hammers if you move too quickly. Slowly and firmly bend the hammers until the hammer head is over each string. Take your time. Bend just a little at a time. Also adjust for height. You want the hammers about 3 16 of an inch from each string, but as you work with the hammer jammer, you will find yourself adjusting the height depending on the type of guitar and style of music. To mount the hammer jammer using the double stick tape method, you will not use the felt strips, but before you put the double stick strips on the bridge, study where the hammer jammer needs to sit for the hammers to be as evenly spaced over the strings as possible. Once you know where it should go, Put the double stick strips onto the bridge bottom and then stick it to the guitar. The double stick tape will not harm your guitar finish if you remove the bridge carefully. To take the bridge off, you simply put pressure on one side of the bridge until the tape begins to give way. Then, slowly keep pressure on until it comes off completely. For electric guitar, either of these mounting methods will work. However, the hammer jammer does cover some of the neck. You can mount the hammer jammer below the bridge like this using double stick tape. On this guitar, the guitar bridge was too high, so I simply cut a piece of wood to fit the inside area of the bridge and then screwed the hex screws directly into the wood block. Then I used the double stick tape to stick the block of wood to the guitar. This is very solid. Hammer tweaking is the same for electric. Now I want to give you some basic tips on how to get started with the hammer jammer. There are no rules with the hammer jammer, and I'm sure there are many techniques that have not been thought of, but the most important thing in learning how to use the hammer jammer is not to be overly aggressive. Light, fast, bouncing action is all you need. Bounce your fingers off the keys, fast and light. Don't press into the keys and don't leave your finger on the key as the hammer strikes the string. You just smack the key with a light, quick hit and let the hammer do the work. You cannot outplay the hammer jammer. It will respond as fast as you hit it, but you need to start with light, bouncing action. Adjust the fingerboard tension and tweak the hammers as you go. Remember, 
A guitar with a hammer jammer is basically a new instrument. It is a true hybrid of a piano and a guitar. It takes time to learn. It's not like a new set of strings or new effects pedal. It is a brand new way of playing guitar with techniques that are specific to using a hammering device. Be patient. Take your time. I promise. Once you start to get the hang of the hammer jammer, it will amaze you how much it adds to your arsenal as a player.